I'm Jace Ducense, and today we're going to take a look at some of the Hydro X series radiators available from Corsair and try and take some of the confusion out of picking the right size radiator for your loop. Choosing the right radiator doesn't have to be confusing. The basic rule of thumb is you want to go with the biggest radiator that will fit in your case, which will give you the maximum amount of cooling. So the first thing you need to understand is the sizing of radiators and what the numbers mean. So what I'm holding right here is the XR5 280. Now 280 is the amount of millimeters uh, in length of the radiator, but it's not just denoting the, the length of the rad, it's also telling you what size fans are gonna fit on it. So basically this radiator holds two 140 millimeter fans. So it's a little bit larger than your standard 120 millimeter fan uh, when it comes to giving you a little bit more surface area to your radiator. Now it's also a 280 because 140 times two is 280. So that number not only tells you what size fan will fit on the radiator, but also how many of them. Now if we compare it to the XR5 240, you can see the difference in surface area between 140 millimeter fans and 120 millimeter fans. Now both of these radiators also measure in at 30 millimeters of thickness. This is pretty standard. Almost every radiator on the market is available in this size. Now sometimes you need a little bit extra cooling and you may not have enough surface area in your chassis to go with a longer radiator. So in that case, you can go with the XR7 from Corsair, which is an extra thick radiator. This is actually a 60 millimeter thick radiator. As you can see, it's twice the thickness of our standard here, which will give us more surface area, not only in the length, because this is a 360 millimeter, which means it holds three 120 millimeter fans, but it also gives us extra thickness, giving us more surface area and more rows, giving us additional cooling. This is a really good alternative if you can't fit longer radiators in your system. Now these thicknesses are available in the different lengths as well. So you can get the 280 mil in an extra thick. You can also get the 240 millimeter available in extra thickness. Now when it comes to sizing your radiators and what size is right for your system, it's gonna kind of depend on how many components that you're running. More often than not, you can get away with a single 240 or 280 when it comes to cooling just your CPU and giving you plenty of overclocking headroom in terms of temperatures. But adding a GPU to your loop means you're also adding a lot more heat, which means you're gonna want more surface area. So my recommendation is always to go with the maximum amount of surface area that you can fit in your case. If you can fit two 240 millimeter radiators, giving you a total of 480, then this would definitely be the way to go. But like I said, if you can only fit a single 360, but you have the height clearance to go with a thick radiator like this, then this would definitely be a good choice. So I'm Jace Two Cents, and that's been a quick sizing guide to the Hydrox series radiators available from Corsair. To see all sizes available, make sure you guys check out the full lineup of Hydrox series radiators from Corsair.